Hello, friends. We are having a splashing time at the pool. I bet you love visiting the pool, too. In the last two lessons, we learned about perpendicular lines and parallel lines. Before we complete this chapter, it's important to know about horizontal lines and vertical lines, too. So, what are horizontal lines and vertical lines? Here's an easy way to remember them. Horizontal lines are like sleeping lines. These straight lines run from left to right or right to left. Just like the horizon. Vertical lines are standing lines. They are straight upright lines that run from up to down or from down to up. Horizontal lines and vertical lines are perpendicular to one another. That means when they join, a right angle is formed. Look at this figure. It is made up of four lines. AB, DC, AD, and BC. The lines meet at different points and form angles. AB and DC are horizontal lines. AD is a vertical line. AD is perpendicular to DC. AB is parallel to DC. AD is not parallel to BC. BC is not a vertical line. BC is not perpendicular to DC because it does not form a right angle. Point A and point D form right angles. Point B is larger than a right angle. It is an obtuse angle. Point C is smaller than a right angle. It is an acute angle. Wow, so many people at the pool today. If only this pool was as big as an Olympic pool. Did you know that some of the biggest pools made are not even Olympic pools? Like the swimming pools in San Alfonso del Mar in Chile. And city stars in Egypt are so huge. Almost more than a kilometer long. Phew, that's huge. I really wonder how many lifeguards are needed to keep an eye in these gigantic pools. I spotted more parallel lines. Look at this lifeguard chair right here. The two lines, AB and CD, are vertical lines. They are also parallel lines. The smaller lines, NL, OP, QR, and ST, are horizontal lines. As you can see, they also run parallel to one another. Can you spot a perpendicular line in the picture? Look around you and you will be amazed to see so many horizontal and vertical lines in your own room that form angles or are parallel or even perpendicular. As we continue to learn more, it is good to know lines and angles well. And a great way to do this is by testing your skills with our fun quiz. <laughs>